In the early 1920s, the Swedish Navy saw a need for a quick-firing anti-aircraft gun as dive bombing was on the horizon. So in 1922 they bought some 2 pounder 40mm belt fed anti-aircraft guns from Vickers. But vibrations and unreliability made those guns unsuitable for the Swedish Navy. In 1928 Kungliga Marinförvaltningen, the Royal Swedish Naval Material Administration was tasked with constructing a new domestic gun. Bofors was the company to handle this and they got the order on the 25th of November 1928. The most famous gun that came out of this was the 40mm Bofors gun that most people have heard of. However, the Navy also wanted a 25mm gun, so that was also developed in tandem, with the same functionality as the 40mm gun. In 1932, the first of the 25mm guns came into service, designated capital M32, with around 100 guns built. The capital M stands for Navy in Sweden, and a lowercase letter M simply stands for model, distinguishing between the Navy and the Army. 1932 is the year it came into service, so 32 is the year it was accepted. The gun could fire about 160 rounds per minute, and each shell weighed about 250 grams. It had a maximum range of 3.5 kilometers, and it was fed by 6 round clips. It could be mounted with a single barrel or twin barrels. It is said that this gun was developed for purely submarines, but that is not the case. It is true that some variants were made for submarine use only, but the gun was developed for the Navy. The first two guns were used to equip HMS Sverige, a coastal defense ship. It is worth noting that in some sources they refer to a model 1933, but there is no such model for this gun. The 25mm model was accepted in 1932, thus the designation M32. Later, this gun was considered too light in caliber and they switched to the M36 model, which is the 40mm Bufors gun most people know about. Meanwhile, the Soviet Union is also looking for a new anti-aircraft gun, but attempts to modernize the guns they already have does not work out. So, in 1935 they buy a license for the 25mm Bufors gun. The Soviet Union tests it, the Navy, and they like the design, so a 45mm gun version is commissioned to be produced. During field tests it's deemed that this caliber is perhaps a little bit too large, it's overkill, so a new version in 37mm caliber starts to be developed by the Kalinin machine building plant under the supervision of Mikhail Logino. By 1938 that version is ready and in 1940 they do some competitive trials between this gun, now designated 61K, and the Bofors 40mm gun, with no big differences in performance. The Bofors gun is slightly ahead but mainly because it has a slightly larger caliber. It should also be said that the Soviet Union did not simply copy the design. The Soviet gun had a crew of 7 to 8 men and they carried around 200 rounds of ammunition, fed in 5 round clips. Some 20,000 units were built. I have seen some figures stating that this gun or variants of it or other guns shot down 15,000 Axis planes during the war, which seems a little bit high for uh, anti-aircraft guns only, 
but it might be true. However, I haven't found any other sources to corroborate this. As pretty many guns were built and it served well after World War II, I have to assume it did the job it was designed for. And based on the Bofors 40mm gun, which is very similar, I think it jo did the job pretty well. In Sweden, the 25mm M32 gun did not see much action and it was soon replaced by the 40mm Bofors gun. Other 20mm anti-aircraft guns were developed, but that's a video for another time. 